Hey guys, so this video is about Virginia creeper or woodbine, which is Parthenosensis quinquefolia. That up that means five leaves, which is absolutely actually not entirely true as this is five leaflets. This is one compound leaf right here. As you can see, it often has a creeping habit as it crawls along the floor with its nice little vine. And it's really creeping until it can get to a nice tree to climb up because that's what it's going to enable it to get to a better spot for it to get some sunlight. And as well, it can only fruit really when it's vertical. So we're going to walk over to this nice tree. So here it is in its climbing habit. You can see it really only climbs up one part of the tree. It's not like English ivy, which will completely engulf the tree. So again, it's got five leaflets. Let's get a closer look at those leaflets. They're going to tend to be elliptical. They're going to be slightly toothed, but that's more towards the top of the leaf. They have an acute base and an acuminate tip, so a nice tapered tip. The bottom two leaves are going to be a little bit shorter typically. They will not always have five leaves because, you know, stuff happens. Either they get ripped off, they don't grow in properly, something eats them, etc. Oh, and this is the family Vitaceae, so it's a, it's a grape, hence its vining habit, and as well, it will also have a dark berry when it is ripe, though it's not going to stay on there very long because birds really like it. So unlike poison ivy, which has adventitious roots, this guy is going to have tendrils. So you can see here, these guys have unwound and they've got little sticky feet on them, almost like a gecko that adhere them to the tree. But before it sticks onto a tree, those tendrils are going to be coiled up really small and curly, just like a grapevine. And new growth either on the ground or on a tree is going to have typically a sort of reddish tint. It might look a little oily too. And that is Virginia Creeper.